हेलो एवरी वन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव लर्न द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन वेयर वी लर्न दैट द सीक्वेंस ऑफ नंबर फॉलो अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन ओनली इफ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्सिक्यूटिव नंबर इज कॉन्स्टेंट विच वी कॉल एज कॉमन डिफरेंस एंड दिस कॉमन डिफरेंस मे बी पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव दैट मीन्स देर विल ऑलवेज बी अ नंबर एट द स्टार्ट and when we keep on adding common difference we get the next number of the sequence so we can say that the first term and the common difference are the main pillars of any kind of arithmetic progression and here we must note that if the sequence is increasing the common difference is positive and if the sequence is decreasing common difference is negative and previously we have also learned two basic tools one is for obtaining any term of the sequence and other one is for calculating summation of all the terms of the sequence and in this session we will focus on first formula only if we notice here there are total four parameters t1 and d and tn for understanding this Let us consider a sequence. The sequence is two, four, six, eight, and so on. So here we can notice the sequence is starting with two. So this is our first term. So t one is two, and the difference between any consecutive number, for example, difference between two and four, four and six, and six and eight is two. So the common difference d is two, or we can even say that. the value of the term at the first position is 2 at the second position is 4 and like that only the value of term at the fourth position is 8 that means we can say that n represents the position of the term where tn represents the value of term at that particular position okay so now we know what exactly these parameters represent or denote but many a times we find it difficult to identify what is given and what exactly we need to find so let us learn how to go about it here is a situation it says steffi's salary in the first month is 15000 and every month she gets an increment of 100 so what do you understand by it see here if the increment is of 100 So in the next month she will get fifteen thousand one hundred, and then fifteen thousand two hundred, and so on. So we can say that the fifteen thousand is the first term that is t one, and the increment is of hundred. That means common difference d is hundred. And further it says we need to calculate her salary in twentieth month. So now tell me what is given and what is asked. The position of the term. Is given twenty. That means n equals twenty, and we have to find the value of the term at that particular position. That is t twenty. So we have got three parameters t one, d, and n. Now we can easily find out the fourth parameter. That is t n, and it comes out to be sixteen thousand nine hundred. So her salary in twentieth month will be. Sixteen thousand nine hundred. So, if we understand the situation, we can solve any kind of arithmetic progression very easily. Now, let me twist the question a little bit. So, you tell me in which month her salary will be eighteen thousand six hundred. So, can you guess what is given and what is asked? C, T one and D will remain same, but this time. Value of the term is given. That is, T n equals eighteen thousand six hundred, and the position of that term is asked. So we have to find n. All right. So by substituting values, we will get n equals thirty seven. That means she will get eighteen thousand six hundred in thirty seventh month. So now we have understood what is n and T n in any given situations. So let us move to next situation. Here it says third term of an arithmetic progression is twenty two. 
that is t3 equals 22 and 17th term is minus 20 and we have to find 7th term that means t7 we know that any term of the sequence can be written in the form of first term and the common difference so even t7 can be written as t1 plus 6d that means if we have to find the value of t7 we should know t1 and d and we have to find t1 and d by given two values that is t3 and t17 so what will we do we will write t3 and t17 in the form of t1 and d only so we will get two equations in two variables and we all know how to solve these simultaneous equations so after solving it we will get value of d equals minus 3 and if we put d in any of the equation we will get value of t1 that is equal to 28 that means we have got our two main pillars t1 and d now by substituting the value of t1 and d we will get t7 equals 10 so friends what do we learn by the solution of this question we learn that if any two terms of an arithmetic progressions are given then not only we can find first term t1 and the common difference d but also we can find any term of that particular arithmetic progression okay so now suppose if i ask you to find tn instead of t7 what will you do see previously it was t7 that means instead of n we had to put 7 so wherever there was n we put 7 over there but now it is asking us to find tn only so t1 and d will remain same and we'll write n as it is so by putting all the values in the formula we will get tn equals 31 minus 3n which is a general expression in the form of n for example if you want to cross check whether t7 we found was correct or not so you just put the value of n equals 7 and you will get t7 equals 10 similarly you can put different values for n and you will get different terms of the sequence so friends by now you can easily identify the different parameters of any kind of arithmetic progression and you can solve any question asked on that okay so next time we will try to solve some questions based on second formula till we meet next time here is a question for you find the 15th term of the arithmetic progression from the last term here is a very small hint for you that you write the arithmetic progression in reversed order and then solve it